Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now answering a question which is from the Solomon A C1 collection, um, which has now become P1, pure pure one, from the um, International A-Level at Excel um, Pure Mathematics papers. And this question is also a question from my end of topic worksheet. This is um, worksheet number three from P1, question number two. This is about equations and inequalities. So six part A. Um, or two part A from the worksheet by completing the square find in terms of the constant k the roots of this equation uh, x squared plus 4kx minus k equals 0 so we got to find basically you know the solution to this equation but we got to do this by completing the square all right when we solve this we can see this is a quadratic equation all right and we can solve quadratic equations in different ways we can use factorizing, we can use completing the square, we can use a formula, which is actually really completing the square, but already done for you. But here they want us to complete the square and not to just straight away use a formula. So for us to complete the square, for a quadratic expression, we want to solve by completing the square. I go through certain steps. My first step, if we have this equation, is first subtract the constant from, or get rid of the constant from this, this side. So here I have to subtract k from both sides. So I've got x squared, plus 4kx equals k. And then I'm going to complete the square for this left side here. It should say 1x squared, which it does, so that's fine. And to complete the square, you have to draw a bracket. You're going to put x, whatever sign comes next, you put that sign. It's going to be a squared bracket. And what goes here is a half of the coefficient of x. Now, the coefficient of x is 4k. k is a constant. So the coefficient of x is 4k. So a half of 4k is 2k. And then I've got to subtract from this the square of this number here. So I've got to take away 2k all squared, which gives you 4k squared. And that equals k. Um, and this, this is completing the square for this little expression here. If I was to expand this, I'll get x squared plus 2kx plus 2kx, which is plus 4kx. But then I'll get plus 4k squared, which I don't want. I don't want the plus 4k squared. That's why I take away 4k squared. Okay, now we want to solve this for x. Now this gives us just one x term instead of having these two x terms here. So therefore, I can now add 4k squared to both sides. So I'll have x plus 2k all squared is equal to, we can say k plus 4k squared. And then I can take the square root of both sides of this equation. So I can say x plus 2k is equal to plus or minus the square root of k plus 4k squared. So then I can say x is equal to minus 2k plus or minus the square root of k plus 4k squared. And there we have our answer to this question. Part A. So we've solved by completing the square the roots of the equation you have minus 2k plus root k plus 4k squared or minus 2k minus the square root of k plus 4k squared so that's the answer to part a now we're going to go on to part b which brings us a bit closer he says hence find the values of k for which the equation has no real roots okay so the word hence means using your previous answer okay normally when, it's, when we're asked to show that equation has no real roots, we would use the discriminant. We'd say, okay, the discriminant, so we'll take the original equation, we'll say b squared minus 4ac has no real roots, has to be less than zero. Okay, that's what we would normally do. So we'll say b squared minus 4ac is less than zero. And the reason we would say that is because the quadratic formula is as follows. And if what's underneath the square root is negative there's going to be no solution to this equation it will be undefined so it has no real roots when this is negative that's the reason why we we use b squared minus 4ac as the discriminant if it has if there's um if b squared minus 4ac is equal to zero we'll only have one answer because we'll have minus b over 2a and that's that's going to become zero and that will give us one solution and if this is a positive value then we'll have minus b plus the square root of b squared minus 4ac and minus b take away the square root of b squared minus 4ac that will be two separate solutions okay so when this is a positive value you have two solutions when this is zero you have one solution when this is negative you have no solutions no real roots okay so now um 
the question doesn't ask us to use the discriminant. In fact, it tells us specifically hence, meaning using what we did here. Using this answer, we have to show or find the values of x, which the equation has no real roots. So they do not intend you to use the discriminant from the quadratic formula. They tend to you, they intend for you to use your answer. And you can think with a similar kind of understanding that this, when you have x equals minus 2k plus or minus the square root of k plus 4k squared, when this here, when this um, part of the equation here is negative, there will be no real roots. Same kind of th reasoning as we looked at when we looked at the discriminant. Okay, so we can see that there will be no real roots. They will have no real roots when whatever's under the square root sign is negative. When k plus 4k squared is less than 0, that's when you'll have no real roots. Okay, so we have to solve this inequality and find the values of k for which this is true. So first of all, let's find the critical values. The critical values is first we find out when does k equal 0. So we're going to find out when k, when does this expression, sorry, equal 0. When k squared plus 4k squared, when does it equal 0? Well, we can take out k as a common factor and we'll have k uh, plus, sorry, that's a k, k squared. That'll be 1 plus 4k. 1 plus 4k equals 0. So we can say that's when k equals 0 and when 1 plus 4k equals 0. So 4k equals minus 1k equals negative a quarter. So we think about this. We have this goes through negative a quarter on the k-axis and 0. And it's a smiley face. So it's going to look something like this. So where is this less than zero? It's less than zero between these two values. That's where this drops below the axis here. This this region here is below the k-axis. This is where k values will be negative. Remember, this is um, the this is whoops. Let me just put this straight. This is your k, and this is the value of this expression which you can think of like the discriminant in a way. So this is negative, what's underneath here, k plus 4k squared will be less than zero in this region here when k is between minus a quarter and zero. So the solution is k must be between negative a quarter and zero. When k has those values, this will have no real solutions because what's in here is going to be negative and it'll have, you have the square root of a negative number, so it will be no solutions. So those are the range of values of k for which the equation has no real roots. Okay, so if it says find the set of values of k, that should be okay, but it's better if it says set to write it as k is such that k is between minus a quarter and zero. That's probably better. This is like the set of values. So it's better to write it like that as a set. K is such that k is between minus a quarter and zero. And there we have the answer to question. This is question six, part B from Solomon A, and two, part B from the end of topic worksheet number three from P1. I hope that was clear. Now, other questions you might want to watch from the Solomon A paper can be found in the playlist over here. Other questions from this worksheet, end of topic worksheet number three, in the playlist over here, that's from P1, end of topic worksheet number three. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.